Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela. Thank you so much for stopping by. Before we move forward, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget to like and comment on this video at the very end. Today we're gonna be creating this smoky brown look. I've always wanted to create a smoky brown look because I always create black smoky look so if you want to see how I achieve this look just keep on watching okay guys so I start off by doing my eyebrows as always I already moisturized my face and primed as well my eyebrows are way way overdue I usually try to grow them out because they're very thin and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills raw pomade in ebony sometimes I see girls that have very long eyebrows very thick eyebrows not long I just admire their eyebrows Okay, so the eyebrows are not looking good, so I'm gonna go ahead and brush them out. Just make sure everything is in line. And then I'm gonna clean them out with the NC50 MAC Concealer. I always struggle with my eyebrows. I can never get them to look the same every time. I don't know. I think it's because they just have no shape. One looks different from the other. But I always just wing it. <laughs> I start off by priming my eyes with the LA Girl Concealer in Fawn. This is the same concealer I'm gonna use to highlight. It depends. Sometimes I use my MAC concealer to prep my lids. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use that. No. I'll use the LA Girl concealer. So I'm going to use that to prep the lid and prime it. So we got our first snow today. First snow for the year, and I'm so excited. I just wish it snowed on Monday when we have to go to work. That way we didn't have to go. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so that is done. Now I'm gonna go in with a transition color. I am going to be using my Mophie Second Nature palette, and I think for the transition color, I will be using this. You guys might hear some background noise. I'm at Joey's house and I'm sitting by the window. So next up I'm gonna go in with this color to just deepen that crease area. So I start off slowly like this in the outer corner. I like using the same brush for my transition colors and also my crease colors. It's just easier for me to blend everything together rather than using a different brush that doesn't have a new product and then you're styling it fresh. I feel like sometimes when I use a completely different brush, it just erases what I put on. So I feel more comfortable using the same brush and just keep going. It makes it easier for the colors to 
transitioning well. So I'm gonna go in again with the same color and just make it a little bit deeper. Oh, and I'm using a Mulfi 332 brush. This is my go-to blending brush. I'm gonna be using this small Mulfi 431 brush to go deeper into the outer corner with this color. I definitely don't want to use black for this because it will make it very bumpy. So I'm gonna stick to browns. So see, it's a very subtle dark color Definitely better than black if you're not going for a very over dramatic look. So I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and blend everything together. So now I'm going to prep the lid with concealer. So for the lid, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Palette, and I'm going to be using this color called Dark Horse. I love this palette. This was one of the first makeup, first eyeshadow palettes I ever purchased. I'm going to be using a Morphe 124 brush. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to use this dark color that we used. And I'm going to be using a Morphe 326 brush, this very tiny brush. And then I'm gonna use that same color we used for the transition color to smudge everything and blend it in. So this color. That's it, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara. I'm going to be using the Hypnos Drama by Lancome Mascara. I'm going to hold off on putting mascara in my lower lashes because I have to do my whole face and sometimes my when I highlight I get concealer on the lower eyelash so I'm gonna hold off in case I have to go back in and touch up with the colors so I'm just gonna do the upper lashes and we'll touch the lower lower lashes at the very end I'm gonna be using these elf lashes they came in this kit I think it's 17, 13. That's the number. It just says natural lash kit, so this is how they look like. I'm gonna be using those. I'm gonna go ahead and measure my eye and see how long these are. I 
edge. From the very end, I'm gonna slice them a little bit because they're too long. Okay, so now I'm gonna do foundation. I'm gonna be using the Stay Oil Free Clinique Foundation in 29 Sienna. I'm gonna be using the Morphe S94 brush to blend that in. To highlight, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Concealer in Fawn. I forgot to wet my beauty blender, so I'm just gonna wet it. I'm going to set the concealer with the NYX Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. So now I'm going to contour with the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick in the shade Espresso. I always use this. I love it. So when I'm contouring, I try not to go all the way to here. I just slightly draw a straight line like this and I stop midway of the cheek right here. And then I blend everything in. I'm gonna be using the Morphe M460 brush. And this concealer dries out really fast, so I always just contour in sections. Same thing here. Go around my jawline. And that is that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply powder. I'm gonna be using my Mineralize Skin Finish Powder by MAC in the shade Dark. And I'll be using the Mofi M400 brush. I'm gonna set the contour with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronze Powder in Mahogany. And I'm gonna be using a Morphe M104 brush. I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush and contour down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm 
gonna use the blending brush that I used earlier to just bring these colors to connect with the bridge of my nose like this. Okay, moving on to blush. I'm gonna be using raisin if I can find it. I'm gonna be using raisin by MAC. And I'll be using a Morphe 106 brush. I don't want it to be too harsh. And then I'm gonna apply highlight. I'm gonna be using Fenty Beauties. It's a dual powder. It's a dual. Cons I'm to, what am I trying to say? Dual highlight, Sun Castle and Minted Mojito. But I'll be using the Sand Castle. I love Fenty Beauty highlights. They're so bold and highly pigmented. So I try to put in put on just a little bit like that and then I'm gonna go up like this and then I'm gonna apply some in, in my inner corner I'm gonna go back in and slightly define the lower lash line. Just put a little bit of color. For the lips, I'm gonna be using a liquid lipstick called Take a Pixie by ColourPop. I'm gonna line my lips with the NYX SPE 909, 903 pencil. I'm gonna set the whole look with the MAC charcoal water. This is a finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and comment on this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.